In this video, I'm gonna show you nine Google Nano Banana AI tips, tricks, and hacks that'll elevate your design and supercharge your workflow. These are actually tried and true tips, so you won't be messing around with something that doesn't work. With all that being said, let's jump right in to tip number one. Google Nano Banana can take a simple screenshot from your 3D model or physical model and turn it instantly into a professional rendering. What used to take us weeks now only takes about 30 seconds. Add the screenshot of your building by clicking this plus icon, upload file. This is a basic screenshot I took of my 3D model. Next, copy and paste the prompt from the description below and make sure to fill it out with any information you would like. The hardest part about writing a good prompt is knowing what you want. Linked in the description below is the ultimate nano banana cheat sheet. It's a complete nano banana prompting guide made specifically for architecture. After you're done, hold control and press enter. And this is the output from the prompt. By using this prompt, it allows you to describe your building in any way that you would like. You can see I added vines, birds to the sky, people. I added God rays in the sky. I added a fireplace feature, and I told the AI exactly what materials I want the building to have. You can also use this prompt to add extra architectural elements that you haven't yet modeled. For example, I added coping on top of the wood tower on the right. This prompt is extremely fun to play around with, and you can get a lot of great images out of it. You can do this exact same thing with the physical architectural model. Just snap a photo of it with your phone and use this prompt to bring it to life. The more descriptive your prompt is, the better your end result will be. Sometimes Nano Banana will change the perspective of your original image. Even though it's listed in the prompt telling it not to do that, it'll still do it. Just rerun the prompt until it gets it right. If you don't like anything in your image, just tell it to change it in the prompt. I'm gonna tell Nano Banana to change the time of day to sunset. And this is the output from that request. Do you have a room that's just not really your vibe? You wanna redecorate it or remodel it? And you're looking for some ideas and inspiration? Google Nano Banana AI can actually help with this. Let's start with the empty room. Click the plus icon and upload an image of your empty room. Next, copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Make sure to fill out any details that you would like. I'm gonna choose Japandi as my design style. I'm gonna tell Nano Banana that this is my living room. I'm not too worried about the color palette, so I'll choose 2025 trending design color palette. For the key materials or textures, I'm gonna stick with the typical Japandi outline, light colored wood, soft textiles, and ceramic elements. For the furniture, list out exactly what type of furniture you want to see in the room or the AI will place whatever it feels like. So for this room, I would like a couch, coffee table, plants, a hanging light fixture, a media console with a TV on top, and a creative rug. After you're done filling out the prompt, hold control and press enter. This is the output from the image. I think the walls look a little bare, so let's tell Nano Banana to add some decor on the walls. I'm gonna tell it to add Japanese-inspired decor on the walls. And this is the output. Now let's say you have a room that already has furniture and decor in it. And now you wanna remodel it or reimagine it to try to get some inspiration. Let's click new chat at the top right. Add the image of your decorated room. This is an image of my apartment that I added. Now copy and paste the prompt from the description below and fill out everything that you need to. I wanna change my coffee table and put a nicer blanket on the couch. I wanna add decor on the walls and more plants by the windows. When you're done filling it in, hold control and press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. You can see it did a pretty dang good job adding everything that I wanted it to. It changed the blanket, it added decor on the walls, added a lot of plants along the windows, and it changed my coffee table. If there's anything wrong about the room, all you have to do is tell Nano Banana what it is you would like it to edit, remove, or add. 3D modeling takes forever, and getting all the curves right can be a massive headache. Now you can generate high-fidelity 3D models from an image in a matter of just seconds. If you have a photograph of your physical model and you want to turn it 3D, this method would work great as well. Click the plus icon and add the image of your building. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Hold control and press enter. This is the output from that prompt. Hover over the image and download it. Open up a new browser or tab and type in meshi.ai and press enter. There's also a link in the description below. Click start creating and go ahead and sign in. After you've signed in, hover over workspace on the top left and do image to 3D. On the left-hand side under New Model, we have a couple options, Text to 3D, Image to 3D, Batch Images to 3D. If you would like to pay for Meshi AI, 
you can take multiple screenshots of your model or building and add it here. This will create a better 3D image, but you do have to pay for it. I'm going to show you how to create it from one image. Head over to Image to 3D, click inside this image box to add the image that Google AI Nano Banana created. Make sure symmetry is on auto and click generate. On the right hand side, you can see that Meshi AI is currently generating the 3D model. After the generation is done, you can click the image and you can scrub through it. Click texture at the bottom and on the left hand side, click texture again. Over on the right hand side, Meshi AI is applying texture to your model. After it's completed, click the box and you can scrub through your image to make sure it's what you like. If you like the image, you can download it. At the moment, Meshi AI is free to download, although this can change in the future. There is plenty of other image to 3D model generators on the internet. Check the comments below or check the description and I'll update them with any new ones that I find. If you find a good one yourself that's free and you think other people would love it, feel free to drop it in the comments below. You can use this same method from image to 3D model to create context buildings. This is useful if you have a 3D model with no context buildings around it and you want them to be accurate. You can simply go into Google Earth take a screenshot, and then use the same prompt and Meshi AI to create the 3D context buildings. A render without people or vegetation is pretty dull and lifeless. Now you can easily create anyone doing anything and add it right into your render with ease. Photoshop is officially done for. This is where Google's Nano Banana is taking over. I'm gonna show you how to create your own cutout people and your own cutout vegetation. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below and fill out any details. After you're done filling it out, hold Control and press Enter. This is the output from the prompt. Let's hover over it and click Download. In Photoshop, I'm going to open up the image of the running man that we created in Google Nano Banana. I'm going to use the Object Selection tool on the left-hand side. Click and drag a box over him. In the Layers panel, I'm going to add a new layer and drag it to the bottom. Select the layer with the running man, hold Control, Shift, and press I to invert the selection and then hit delete. Hold control and press D to deselect everything. Now the running man is a PNG with no background. Now I'm gonna open up an image of the render that I would like to add him to. Click and drag him into the render and adjust the scale accordingly. Sometimes it's a hassle going through and creating all these people in different poses. I created a scale figure pack of over 700 different scale figures and all different kinds of poses and doing just about anything you can think of. I have it linked in the description below if you want to check it out. It'll save you a lot of time. I'm going to scroll through the scale figure pack and find someone reading. And I'm going to drag them into the image. Flip it and scale them down to fit. I'm going to add her sitting on this bench over here. Next, I'm going to add someone walking towards the camera. I'm going to go into the walking folder of the scale figure pack and find someone walking towards the camera. Here's a group of people as if they just came out of a meeting. Scale them down to fit. After you're done adding all of your cutout people, hide the bottom layer of the render and save that image out as a PNG. Head back over to Google AI Studio Nano Banana, click the plus icon and upload file. First, add the image of the render. Next, add the image we just created in Photoshop, the PNG of the people. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. After you've done that, hold Control and press Enter. And this is the output from that prompt. You can see here the running man on the right hand side might be a little bit too small. And then it did adjust the placement of the lady in the front. At this point in time, Nano Banana does a pretty decent job in adding the people and adjusting the lighting and whatnot, but there's still some hangups. These should clear in the near future. As for now, if you want to make any further adjustments, you can just do it in the prompt bar at the bottom. Something else you can do is you can just rerun the prompt, hover over this star icon and click rerun. This will give you multiple options to choose from. The exact same method that we used on the people, you can use for vegetation. Down in the description of the video, you can find the prompt that'll help you create the vegetation. I also created a gigantic vegetation cutout asset library that you can find in the description below. Check it out and see if you're interested. I grabbed eight plants from the vegetation asset library, and then I uploaded an image of the front of a suburban home. I'm going to tell Nano Banana to add all of these plants into the landscaping of the modern suburban home. I want you to creatively add design landscaping to the front yard of this house 
and include all the eight plants that I've uploaded. And this is the output from that prompt. Did you create a render and you just want to nudge the POV or the camera around slightly without having to edit all of your other layers? Well, let's use Google's Nano Banana AI to fix this. In Google Nano Banana, upload the image of your render. This is the image that I uploaded. Look at the different options of prompts available in the description and choose the one for the POV that you would like. After you're done pasting the prompt and filling it out, hold control and press enter. These are the two output images from the two different prompts. Styles and trends, they change constantly. Creating renderings and graphics in a specific style can be difficult and time consuming, but Google Nano Banana can help with that. In Google AI Studio Nano Banana, first upload the image of your render. Click the plus icon, upload file, and copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Sometimes it's hard to determine what kind of style you want, so there's multiple prompts to choose from in the Nano Banana cheat sheet. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. Here's an example of just five different styles that you can change this one image into. A lot of us have Pinterest boards or collections of images of buildings, art, or design elements that we love. Google Nano Banana can combine all of these elements into one mood board to help us narrow in on the right stuff for our project. This is a Japandi coffee shop board on Pinterest. Click into the image, right click it, and select Save Image As. Go through and save all of the images that you would like to add to your mood board. After you have saved all of your images, head over into Nano Banana, click the plus icon, upload file and upload all of the images that you saved. Copy and paste the prompt from the description, hold control and press enter. This is the output from that prompt. Another cool little trick you can do along these same lines is you can create a whole new room based off of your mood board images. Click the plus icon, add all of the images that you saved and copy and paste the prompt from the description below. After you've copied and pasted the prompt, hold control and press enter. This is the output from the prompt. This is an image that I created using Midjourney. If you're interested in learning how to use Midjourney, check out the link in the description below to see the full tutorial. I'm gonna upload this image into Nano Banana, click the plus icon, upload file, and select the image of your render that you would like to add people to. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. The prompt will add people for you, but it won't add exactly what you might want. If you would like more people to choose from, check out the scale figure pack linked in the description below as well. This pack has over 700 people to choose from. If you use the pack, you simply go through the different folders, find what you want, like somebody walking, then you click and drag them into the prompt. After you pasted the prompt and filled out any details you need to, hold control and press enter. This is the output from the prompt. I still wanna add more people. In the prompt at the bottom, I'm gonna type in add 30 more people to the image. Hold control and press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. When I first started using Nano Banana, I was wasting hours trying to track down the right cutouts, rewriting prompts from scratch, and testing every setting under the sun. It was really messy and honestly slowed me down a lot. That's why I built the Ultimate Architects Bundle. It's everything I wish I had starting out. It's over a thousand people and vegetation cutouts. All of my most powerful prompts for Nano Banana, Mid Journey, and Stable Diffusion. Plus it's got tools to help you write your own prompts in seconds. Now, instead of struggling, you can just jump straight into creating. It's all in one place and it's available now at a huge discount through the link below. Check it out and see if you're interested. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content just like this. If you wanna support the channel further, check out the Patreon. It's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.